Could the first human to set foot on Mars be standing right next to you? When I look at the moon and think 45 years ago, humans set foot on that surface, I'm filled with awe. And NASA has continued the mind-boggling full steam by recently suggesting that the first people to set foot on Mars are already walking around today. So is it possible that humans will visit the red planet within a generation? You know, we've been talking about going to Mars for decades. Back in 1989, NASA had a proposed plan that involved a spectacular thousand ton cargo ship built in space, among other things. They didn't put a price tag with the project, but other people estimated the cost would be at around um, $450 billion. What's the big deal? I mean, we've been to the moon. Why is Mars so much more difficult? For one thing, Mars is much further away. The moon orbits Earth, but Mars orbits the sun. Now, sometimes Earth and Mars are pretty close together. And other times, they're on opposite sides of the sun from each other, which is really far out there. If you launch under ideal conditions, it could take between six to eight months to get there. That's how long it took the Curiosity rover. So if we sent human astronauts, it would take them six to eight months to get to Mars. Then they'd have to wait on Mars until the orbits came back round again for ideal conditions. Then another six to eight months to get back home. That's a long time. It's also a much more dangerous trip than going into low Earth orbit or even going to the moon. Partly because we would be outside the magnetosphere, which protects us from stuff like cosmic rays. Once you leave that protective boundary, your spacecraft has to have the proper shielding to keep you safe. So, what is NASA's proposed approach? It's pretty methodical. It actually starts with capturing asteroids, or at least part of one, and putting it in lunar orbit, then sending a series of manned missions to that asteroid to test out the different processes and technologies that'll help us get to Mars and back again safely. Those improvements could include everything from brand new spacesuits to a solar powered ion drive vehicle that can dock with other spacecraft in space. Meanwhile, other people, like the Mars One Project, have a different approach. Their, let's say, ambitious plan is to get human beings on Mars by 2025. Now, how do they expect to do that? Well, it's a one-way ticket. You would go to Mars and you'd pretty much stay there for the rest of your life. You'd become a colonist, you know, a citizen of Mars. Martians. Personally, I lean a little more toward NASA's methodical approach, but either way, striving to get to Mars is a great goal. We're going to learn so much in new science and develop new technologies that could benefit us in ways we can't even anticipate. And you know, human curiosity is one of those resources we're never gonna run out of. I've got a question for all of you this week. What would it take to convince you to go on a mission to Mars? I want to know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and join our spacefaring crew by subscribing to the channel. Then explore some of these videos. They're out of this world.